Yeah, I'm proud to be an American, all right. The drug capital of the world. Did you know that the United States is the number one consumer of cocaine in the world? The number one consumer of cocaine in the world is the United States. That makes you proud to be an American, doesn't it? I'm proud to come from a country that consumes the number one amount of cocaine in the United States. That's really constructive. Then you have these idiots that say that they're going to stop this problem. Well, it's too late. Everybody's already addicted to drugs. There's over 25 million drug addicts in the United States, and the odds of getting them sober are about zero. I mean, it's really, really hard for somebody, once they've started the drug addict habit, to quit. So the odds of them ever getting sober are very, very thin or clean. So you have to accept the fact that in the 1970s, a bunch of drug addicts were created in the drug-free revolution, and it's not going to stop. It's not going to reverse itself. So the best bet is just to legalize the drugs that you can and not give the people that are going to use the drug money for violent, illegal purposes. Instead of using the money for the drug war, use the money to help people. Because the drug addicts are already there, they're not going to stop, they're going to want their drugs, and they're going to go to any cost to get it. And a lot of these drug addicts are high up, famous, educated, rich, wealthy, connected people. And they don't want to quit their drugs. They don't want to give them up. And some of them are making money off of the drug tapes. There's established banks in America that are laundering money for these drug cartels. And you can't blame the drug cartels. They're just business people. I mean, if you have a clientele, you have a market a drug market, you have 20 plus million drug addicts that you can sell drugs to, well, it would be a normal practice to sell those drugs to the people that you're going to make money off of. So that's kind of the way it is, you know. And so the only way to stop that is to legalize them, you know. And basically, the people that want them legal you know, don't want all the damage and the carnage and their houses broken into and, and everything stolen from them. You know, they, they want that to stop. And if the drugs were legal, the drug addicts would be able to afford their drugs much cheaper. And the drug addicts eventually will take care of themselves. They'll overdose, they'll die whatever, you know, they will become deceased, you know, so putting, making money off of their drug habit, you know, really just makes them rob you, so it's, it's a very unproductive, or if it was cheaper, they would just, karma would go about its course, they would overdose, they would die, they wouldn't need to rob banks anymore. They wouldn't need to break in your house at gunpoint. They wouldn't need to steal your car and carjack your car. They wouldn't need to shove a gun in your face. I mean, the crime in the United States in the last 30 years, I can't even believe it. I, I'm ashamed because I remember back in the day when the U.S. was a safe country to live in and uh, I could go anywhere safely. I could sleep in my car in Los Angeles. I could sleep on the beach in LA. I could go to the Midwest somewhere and park my car and sleep. And maybe a police officer would knock on the door and, and ask me why I'm sleeping in my car and just leave me there and go on, you know. But uh, it's not that way anymore. So if you legalize the drugs, 
you'll take the power out of the situation. And there's corrupt people that are high up that are making money off of the drug war and they want it illegal because they're making the money. They're basically working for the cartels. I mean, that's the bottom line. There's, part there's politicians that are bought by the cartels. There's, there's all kinds of people that are owned by the cartels, the mob, if you will, you know, and there always has been since prohibition. So that's been going on. So it's better to legalize the drugs and let it run its course because you're not going to get everybody off of drugs and most of them don't want to quit and the ones that want to quit have a terrible time stopping they, they spend years and 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 my experience with drug addicts and everything is, is a lot of them never ever quit you know they might even try they might even want to but they're they are unable to stop so it's a big waste of resources and money, you know.